Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. First of all, and before we jump into the video, I just want to thank you guys so much for the love my channel has been getting this week. It really shows me that the work that I put on my videos really pays off and I'm just so, so proud of myself and happy to welcome all of you to my YouTube family. So if you're new here, if you haven't subscribed yet and you like my content, just go and hit the subscribe button so you can be a part of our family. Now back to the video today, I'm going to be talking about aesthetics and I'm going to use the word aesthetic instead of different styles because for me they are two different things. Your personal style is a combination of a lot of different aesthetics. I see a lot of people that are so afraid to get creative and try new things with their personal style because they are so afraid that they are not going to respect some aesthetic that they think they need to belong to or fit in. Imagine if you want to belong to the goth group and you want to have the goth aesthetic, but then you go to the shopping mall and you fall in love with a pink jacket. Um, that says a lot about you and it's okay. You can be goth like 90% of the time and then have and own a pink jacket. It's okay to have different aesthetics and that's what makes you really unique. And on this video, I'm gonna show you five different aesthetics that I will adapt to my own style. Now for this particular video, I had the help of doll skills that allowed me to pick some pieces from their website and send it to me. And if you don't know what doll skills is, is a website that sells a lot of cool fashion and they also resell some really cool brands. And the good thing about it is that it has so many different aesthetics. So if you want to play around with aesthetics, that's the perfect website for you. Now let's finally go to the video. I love androgynous looks. I think it's so cool to play around with feminine and masculine clothes and create this middle ground. So lately in fashion, we've been seeing this trend getting stronger and stronger. So since I'm a girl, I really wanted to incorporate men's clothes on this look and get that androgyny look. So basically I started with these pants. These are actually pants from a men's streetwear brand called Masnown. It's from Korea and I'm going to add the link down below in the description. So for these pants, they are really big because they of course are men's size, but I decided to do a little trick here, kind of fold them and make like a big pleat on the front with the help of a safety pin. Now for the blazer, this blazer is from Doll Skills and I really love that it has this men blazer vibe because it's so oversized but at the same time it's cropped so it helps with the androgyny look and it helps to look a little bit more feminine. I also love that the edges are left without any sewing so they are really raw. This blazer doesn't have a button so what I decided to do is to use another safety pin here. For the shoes I went with these loafers these ones are from Koi Footwear, it's a brand that I really like and I love these loafers in particular because of the piercing details they have. For the hair, I decided to do like a sleek bun to also give the androgyny look and for the accessories, I just added my Prada hobo bag in black. So I really really love this outfit, I think it came out so cool. I've been really enjoying to shop on the men's section and get creative with my looks, so I hope this inspires you to do the same. Now the second aesthetic I'm gonna show you guys is the Lolita slash Harajuku style. And if you don't know what Lolitas are, started in Harajuku, Japan, and I really feel so inspired with these girls. So I wanted to have inspiration from them, but also adapt to my own style because I'm more minimalistic when it comes to accessories, so I wanted to adapt this and make the Lolita vibe more me. So I decided to start with this skirt that I feel is so Lolita because of the pattern. It's a white skirt with a little bit of frill detail and has some flowers embroidered and also a really beautiful detail on the end that resembles like this corset. So this skirt is from Doll Skills and it was kind of the foundation of this look. Then for the top, I decided to add this really beautiful top that I got from Zara's sale. Also has frill detail and it's so cute. I feel like it really helps with this Lolita vibe. Now for the shoes, I decided to go with these white boots. 
They are also very chunky and also from Koi Footwear and I also decided to pair this with my favorite accessory of all time. This is also from Doll Skills and it's a little furry bear backpack which I think is the cutest thing ever and it really helps to put this outfit together and give it the ultimate Harajuku Lolita vibe. This outfit ended up so much better than I pictured in my mind and it became one of my favorite outfits. Now for the third aesthetic, I decided to call it the casual sporty and this vibe is the one I think is more wearable and probably more people are going to relate to and also this is the trend that I probably wear most of the time so on days that I'm just at home or running errands this is like the perfect aesthetic to go to so for this one I wanted to start with some tracksuit pants and these ones are from Missy Empire I decided to go to this hoodie that is from Doll Skills and it looks like a denim jacket but it's also a hoodie, I don't know, it's so cool and it's cropped so it looks very cute with high waist joggers. Then for the shoes I pair this with my Balenciaga sneakers, I also use my little Prada hobo bag. And the last accessory I'm going to wear on this outfit is a hat so I decided to go with a, a really cool cap in here. So I think this is my go-to outfit and something that you would see me wearing mostly 90% of the time. Now the fourth aesthetic is the girly aesthetic and this one I think is one of the cutest aesthetics and I feel like anyone can adapt a girly vibe to their personal style. Even if you're more of a tomboy, sometimes we all want to feel cute but it has a little bit more of that mean girl, clueless, inspired look. For this one I started with the cutest cardigan ever, this is also from Doll Skills, it's a really pretty light pink cardigan with a fluffy color and this color is what made me really fell in love with this cardigan, I feel this is the cutest thing ever and I wanted to pair this with a pleated skirt because I think a pleated skirt is something that makes you feel so girly and so cute so I paired with this one, which is one of my favorites, and it's from Yes Style. Then I decided to use these socks, which are knee-high socks, with a little bit of see-through. Probably seen me wearing this a lot on my Instagram. I really love this style of socks, and I pair them with these beautiful shoes. They are also from Koi Footwear. For accessories, I decided to go with this light pink small bag. This is from Looks to Kill, and it's just so pretty. And for the hair, I decided to put this hairband on, the pink one, and I think it really looks cute on this outfit and makes it look even more girly. There are days where we just want to look cute and girly, and that's fine, that won't ruin your reputation or anything, so if you want to go for it, just go for it. Now for the last aesthetic, I decided to call it the edgy goth and I wanted to be creative with this one and not wear like a fully black outfit just because it's goth. So this black little corset from Doll Skills, I feel this is such a cute piece that you can adapt to any style you want and any different aesthetic. I decided to pair that corset with this white fishnet long sleeve top and I think the combination of these two are just so gorgeous. This top is from Boohoo, but I have it for a long time, so I don't feel like they have it on the website anymore. But you can grab this type of tops mostly anywhere. Then for the bottoms, I have these black silky cargo pants that I really love from Illustrated People. And I think it looks really good here and helps with the edgy goth look. I pair this with some black combat boots and these are one of my favorite combat boots. These are from a Spanish shoe brand that I really love. I'm gonna leave the link down below. To kind of make this outfit a little bit more me, I decided to pair this with this furry light blue tote bag from Doll Skills as well but on this particular aesthetic I wanted to show you that even though you're doing a goth aesthetic you can mix colorful things and make it look good as well so I really like this outfit I think it's so cool for an event or for a music festival and also you can very easily fit the new streetwear vibe that we've been seeing nowadays and it definitely looks really really cool so guys, those were the five aesthetics I had to show you today. Hope you guys liked this video. Let me know down below in the comments which aesthetic was your favorite. I really want to know that. I'm really curious. Also, I hope this video 
get you inspired to try new things, try different aesthetics and play around with your fashion, with your personal style. Also, if you like my content, don't forget to subscribe and become part of my YouTube family. And I guess I'll see you guys next Tuesday. Love you guys.